Good morning, children. God bless all of you. Uh, I'm very happy to have a have a, a lesson for you this morning. I want to thank you because I know some of you little children are praying for me. I know that, and that is very special to me. Uh, I pray for you all the time. I carry you on my heart when I'm out there on the road. It, you're an encouragement to me because I think about the little children that are praying for me, and I thank you for that. So I have something to, uh, that I want to show you, but let's, before we do that, let's pray. Our Father in heaven, this morning as we come in the name of Jesus, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to just share with the little children, Lord God. Oh, Father, we thank you for the children of the world, Lord. I thank you for these little children that are watching this morning. I pray that you would just bless them, bless the parents, Lord, as they guide them, as they teach them, admonish them, nurture them in the Lord. Lord, I pray that you would just continue to direct us to the praise of your glory through Christ. As we go through this time, Lord God, that we would, we would always remember you, your goodness, your kindness and mercy to us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, this is what I have. My dream has finally come true. Uh, you know I have been talking about this for a long time, about getting a hearse and converting it over. And this is what I have. The first commandment is, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Matthew 22, 37. Also, I have another scripture here. Uh, we all know uh, John 3.16. Everybody knows John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. But now I'm going to ask you little children, or everyone, what does 1 John 3.16 say? 1 John 3.16 says, Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us. We ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. Isn't that beautiful? Amen. Let's practice that. Okay. Here's uh, Romans uh, 13, 14. It says that we should, obey all, we should obey the authorities that are over us. Meaning the police and the governments and all of that. Uh, John 15. 1 through 27, it's a whole, it's a whole uh, chapter. And then I have Luke 14, 23, 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 13. That's called the love chapter. Uh, Peter, 1 Peter 3, uh, 1, 22. I mean, that's a long, a, a number of verses also. But the reason I did this is so that people, when they stop and they look at this thing and they, they, uh, they need to take some pictures. They need to um, take some time with this. And I pray as they, as they open it up on their phones that, that it would strike a hunger in their hearts and people would actually begin to read the Word of God. The three crosses. The middle cross is where Jesus hung. The one on the right and the one on the left. The one on the right, he... Uh, they both railed on Jesus in the morning, but the one on the right got born again. And he got saved that day because Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. That's why I put that on there. Jesus saves. He will save you to the uttermost, those that call upon him. For by grace are you saved through faith, Ephesians 2, 8. I wanted the uh, back to look like a... Uh, a U-Haul, so that I, I put the scriptures on there, um, because a U-Haul, we see people uh, moving all the time uh, with the U-Haul or whatever they use, but where we're going, we will not need a U-Haul. Uh, what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Mark uh, 8, 36 and 37. Uh, and it says, Jesus, Jesus said, uh, Woe unto them that will be rich. He also says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Or, I am the way, the truth, and the light. There is no one that can come to Jesus 
except through him, or can come to the Father but by him. The truth will set you free, John 8, 36. For we brought nothing into the world, and we will certainly can take carry nothing out. Set 1 Timothy 6, verse 7. And then inside here, I have some tracks that I uh, want to share with people. I mean, when I stop along the road or somewhere, people can have... Uh, uh, just reach in and get some tracks, some encouragement, some books. I just want to be available and have and share everything. You know, just share this with people. It's all free. Uh, yeah, it's it's for the glory of God that that the word may go out. Okay, children. So we're on this side now, and this is a picture of Jesus coming on a white horse. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True. Revelation 19, 11. Jesus is also the King of Kings. He's also the Lord of Lords. And then also I've, written, uh, I've, I've uh, used some of these scriptures over here. Um, they're scriptures that a lot of people don't really want to talk about or use. They're more speaking of the wrath of God. The other side is, uh, is uh, salvation and coming to Jesus, coming to know him. And then the back is the, uh, the foolishness, the folly of the world. You know, we uh, seek after that. We need to uh, repent of that and look into the perfect law of liberty. The word of God teaches us not to put our trust and faith in things but to put our trust in Him. It says not to lean into our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct our path. I'll tell you, if we have God directing our path, we don't need anything else. So anyhow, I put these scriptures on also so people can take pictures, and they can look at it and study it. Also, here's a, a, a verse that I always liked. It's, it, it says, Taking benches of them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Thessalonians 1, 8. And then also we have a, a very, uh, a scripture here that I believe is key. It says, The study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2, 15. And if you don't do that, my dear friends, whoever, if you don't study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that doesn't need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, it's, it's nobody's fault but your own. You'll miss it. This is the instruction God gives us. Also, I have a scripture, 1 Corinthians 11, 1 through 16. It talks about headship, headship order. It's very important. Very, very important. And then on the hood here, um, it, 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 I have a picture of John the Baptist in prison. He was put in prison for telling the truth. And some, you know, there's a, I believe there's a time coming when we may put to be put to the test for telling the truth. But let us never uh, shake at that. But let us trust the Lord because God will see us through. John the Baptist, he, uh, he told Herod it was not right for him to live with his brother Philip's wife. And today, almost no, very few people even make any bones about it. It's very, very sad. They destroy the children. I love the children, and I will fight for the children till the day that I die. This is wrong to put your wife away and find somebody else while your spouse is still living. It is just absolutely evil and it, it needs to be uh, talked about and, and studied. Here's a scripture where the Pharisees were going to stone this woman because of, of some things that she was doing that were not right but but then Jesus challenged them and said whoever's without sin let him throw the first stone. Now I would like to show you the inside of this. It's fixed up pretty nice so that somebody can come in here and sit down and we can talk, we can pray. I love to listen. 
Um, just come back here and relax and be quiet. Um, I, we could read, we could pray, we could have a cup of coffee. I got a little coffee maker in here. I have a little microwave, a refrigerator, so we could sit in here for a long time and just whatever's on your heart, whoever needs somebody that loves them and cares for them, I want to be the first. Okay, so now uh, in the back here, when I travel or, you know, if I want to go somewhere and travel for a long distance, I have a little little bed here. I can fold this down and have a bed in here. I have a, a microwave, a refrigerator, and a little coffee pot. Um, and this is where I want to uh, spend some time praying and sharing with, you know, if there's somebody that has a need, somebody that needs to unload their heart, somebody that needs a listening here, I want to be the first because I know I know how Jesus loved me, and he took time for me, and I want to do the same for whoever will come. God bless you.